All right. Um, I looked everywhere as for a, how to build a brick column, and I just couldn't find a good YouTube on it. So I wanna, I wanna talk to you a little bit about building some brick columns for your home. Uh, in this case, this, these brick columns are gonna be going around my pool. I'm gonna put some aluminum fence in between it. We're setting up for it now. So I just wanted to go through a few steps on uh, let you know that building a column is not that very difficult. Excuse the work in the background. We're gonna be running lights. So I had an outside breaker box here. If you don't, then you know, you're just gonna have to find your power source and uh, run your conduit. So um, what I have here is a 36 by 36 inch foundation. Now, I want you to notice the foundation is about two, uh, maybe four inches below ground level. Because when you're done, uh, you're gonna cover up the, the dirt back on the foundation. So you're not gonna see these foundations. All you're gonna see is the column coming up out of the ground, you know, which is standard. So I got a 36 by 36, uh, eight inches deep. These are two by eights. I built the, the form with two by eights. And you stick them things in the ground, make sure the top of the form is eight inches below the surface. I'm sorry, four inches below the surface. Um, and then, you know, square it off. And then you fill it up with uh, concrete. You, you don't need to get a truck. Just have a couple of five gallon buckets. Uh, get some uh, quick mix concrete. Get a drill with a uh, concrete stir paddle. Just a real long paddle that goes into the drill. You turn that baby on and it'll mix that concrete up for you. Put it in the water, start turning it while you pour the concrete in and make it easier. Uh, you won't rebore. The size is, you know, not that important. Uh, I think this is uh, maybe quarter inch or five eighths uh, inch. You're gonna have rebore coming up. And then you can see uh, my conduit for my electric coming up for the light and then going down. Now, that's not the full height. Uh, I'm actually gonna be sticking another pipe right here. I should be able to show you that later. That's gonna come up for the light and that'll be capped and then the wire will come back through and uh, go down. So you run your wire, uh, your conduit, of course, obviously you run your conduit, guys, before you pour your, <laughs> before you pour your concrete uh, into your forms. So you set your forms, Next thing you do is you run your conduit uh, into one form, back out, into the next form, back out. And uh, this is where my gate, this is where my gate's gonna go. So that's why I have these two pads sort of close to one another, because I'm gonna be putting a, a 36 inch gate uh, in there. Space out your, um, your columns on how far apart you want them to go uh, with your aluminum fencing in between. And you can see where mine is here. And then what we did was we dug a trench from foundation to foundation. And that's where the, uh, the conduit is running for the electric. Now, I'm running an extra wire because I'm gonna put a plug on every other column, uh, an electric plug. And the reason why I'm doing that is um, to be able to, you know, plug in Christmas lights, tools, kids out here with their phones, they wanna be able to charge them. You, you can always use uh, electrical power out here. These are the cinder blocks we're using. They're 16 inches, and I'll go in more detail in a little bit on that, but. They're 16 inches square. Uh, they're the kind that are just the hole straight in there. Um, and they just sit right on top as you build them up. We'll look at that in a moment. Okay, so 
do your foundations, dig your holes, and um, I'm putting up 16 inch square columns, so I'm using a 36 inch uh, foundation. Remember to go two by eight boards for your form, go down about four inches deeper than um, the ground so that when you, you're done, you cover up that foundation really nice. And then run your, um, your conduit through. And then what you can't see is that in this concrete, I put together a, a square rebore. So this rebore right here, I built a square out of it and ran some bores across it uh, and tied it together with rebore wire. I'm sorry I didn't record this earlier. And, uh, and then you can, you put that down in there uh, in the form. Uh, you can put little rocks underneath it to lift it up off the ground a little bit. And, and so then when you fill this up with concrete, that rebore is in the middle of that concrete and it strengthens the foundation so it can't crack and it holds that column better so uh, it won't lean or you know anything like that. So get your rebore down in the bottom, put these rebores in and uh, you can't see it but at the, the, one, the rebore that's sticking up right here, down in there it's bent. Uh, like an L and it kind of goes up underneath there just gives it a better uh, grip to hold All right so we ran our conduit here here's our corner our corner um, thing now I want to show you something else too uh, to cut your hose for your uh, electric boxes just get yourself a, a grinder Put a concrete blade on it, <clears throat> and um, you can cut that box right out and knock it right out. It'll, it works. It work perfect. It's the easiest way to do it. See how he's cutting underneath it? <clears throat> he's going to cut the other side. Here. You can fast forward a little bit if you want. And you'll get that bottom. And it comes right out. And that's how you do your for your box. And they're setting these uh, concrete blocks in pretty much right on top of one another. And they use these little leveler pins here uh, to make sure that the blocks are level. Of course, you use the level to um, check it. You want to make sure it's straight as it comes up. And uh, then he's going to position this block right here. And that, that plug casing fits right in that hole he cut. Perfect job. So we run on down and here's a taller column. So they have, you see the foundation, they just stack these bricks right on top of one another. Now if you're building a house or something you'd have to have mortar um, because of distance. But the concrete is going to hold these together nicely and uh, down on the inside, they're gonna have to extend that here in just a second. They got it extended over here, we'll go look at it. <clears throat> Come over here, got a column. I'm gonna be five feet high. My particular columns are five feet. Uh, you can see where the box comes out and uh, electric comes in, up out, comes back through, runs around, another column. And then I'm having them run a um, an electric conduit stub out right here for me because I'm going to be putting in an outdoor kitchen and I'm going to need some power out here. Well, um, I'm sure someone could have done a better job, but I hope by watching this video 
you get a little bit of an idea. Here's that block set with that hole cut for that uh, for the electric going in and out and for my plug. And so a little quick summary. Uh, we've got you build your your form uh, out of uh, two by eights and uh, mine's 36 inches square. My columns were 16 inches square. We're using 16 inch square blocks. They're just sort of stacking them right on top of one another. Using these little uh, pins right there you see to make sure they're level. So you make sure you're level going up on the sides. You make sure you're level across the top uh, as well. And, um, and then after you build your form, remember, put in your rebore, uh, the same size rebore, quarter inch, five eighths rebore. Build a, a square out of it, tie it together with some wire. They make a special wire. You can get all this at Home Depot or your local hardware store. And then run a few of those bores across and tie them. And then you can lift that up so that it's about halfway uh, in the middle of that form and then when you pour in your concrete it'll be in the middle of that um, and help strengthen that concrete then the rebore comes right up out of that foundation uh, comes up about halfway or a little more on the column uh, to help hold that column to the foundation where it needs to be and then you run your your conduits ran you go up out the top and uh, that's how you do this. They mix this concrete, like I said, in five gallon buckets. Uh, they just used a, a paddle to um, stir that concrete up. You can rent one of those if you want from a local hardware store. And uh, this, is, this is the job, it's what it's gonna look like. Just about anybody can do it. Make it happen. These are the buckets uh, that they stirred in. And then that, there's that paddle, paddle I was talking about. It goes right into your drill. And that thing will just stir that concrete in there. And you take that bucket and pour it into your foundation. And then once your columns are all the way up, you got them set, you got them balanced. Um, then you uh, fill them with concrete as well. I'll take a lot of buckets, or you can just call a truck out. Let a truck come fill each one of these up. Uh, make that happen. All right, I hope this helps.